Often when we're out and about at conferences, people ask us, what's the difference between AG Grid Community and AG Grid Enterprise? Well, that's the topic I'm going to discuss in this video. We'll explain what AG Grid Community and AG Grid Enterprise are and when you should use one over the other. AG Grid Community is free and open source. You don't even need to tell us that you're using it. Just download it, put it in your app, go into production. It's all good. Now, we wanted to provide the best open source JavaScript data grid that there was, and that's what AG Grid Community is. It's far better than any other open source project that's out there. The grid doesn't have all of the features that you would have in AG Grid Enterprise, but it does have all the core features that you need in a data grid. It has sorting, it's got filtering, you can customize the cells, it's got all those things, so you won't feel that you're held back by not having the AG Grid Enterprise features. AG Grid Enterprise, on the other hand, that's where we go above and beyond what your expectations of a data grid would be. The stuff that we're doing in AG Grid Enterprise is simply unheard of in other data grids. You see, when we came up with the idea of AG Grid Enterprise, we wanted people to not export data from the application. We saw exporting data as failure. If somebody's exporting the data, they've gone someplace else to do their work, which is not good. So we thought, why are people exporting their data? And sometimes it was as simple as they wanted to do a range selection to get an aggregation, or they wanted to do row grouping, they wanted to create a pivot table, or they wanted to create a chart. So we really pushed ourselves and thought, all these other tools that they're going to, can we bring the core features of those tools into AG Grid? And that's what AG Grid Enterprise is. It's a data grid with advanced features not typically seen in a data grid. They're advanced features that you'll be used to in desktop applications, but we have them in AG Grid, then you can have them in your application, and then your users can be really, really excited that they can do this stuff in your application and not have to go elsewhere. To know if a feature is part of AG Grid Enterprise, then look at our menu, and if you see this symbol here, then that means that it's an AG Grid Enterprise. So row grouping is an AG Grid Enterprise feature. Now, if you go back to the core features, you'll notice that all of the core features are not part of AG Grid Enterprise. They are part of AG Grid Community. So again, AG Grid Community has all of the core features required in a data grid. AG Grid Enterprise is features that go above and beyond what you typically find in a data grid. So we have looked at the difference between community and enterprise versions of AG Grid. Now we'll talk about why would you go AG Grid Enterprise. With AG Grid Enterprise, you will be providing an application that is far more powerful. Your users will get better insights into their data by doing functions they would not normally be able to do inside your app. Before AG Grid Enterprise, users would have had to leave your application and go someplace else to do things such as row grouping or pivot tables or integrated charting or to manage large amounts of data. But now they'll be able to do all of that inside your application. We will have turned your application into a power tool and your users will be far more effective at their jobs. Your users will be happier with the product that you provide them, they'll have a better appreciation for the engineering and development that has gone into it, and you, not us, you will be able to take all of the credit. So why would you not want to go with AG Good Enterprise? Well, you might think your users don't need these advanced features that we have. That might be true, and if it is true, then just go with AG Grid Community and be happy. However, if your users would use these advanced features, then it's a no-brainer to go with AG Grid Enterprise. The cost of AG Grid Enterprise isn't that much in the overall cost of a project. We're talking about $1,000 per developer give and take, and that is minuscule compared to the salary of a developer. We're in the same category as buying a developer a laptop or even a table and desk. The value that we put into your application far outweighs the minuscule cost that AG Grid Enterprise would be in your budget. However, if you are budget conscious, do keep in mind that you will probably end up spending more developer time putting workarounds in for features that we have out of the box. So your product development time would be less if you use AG Grid Enterprise. And then finally, if you're having meetings about whether you should do AG Grid Enterprise or not, then you've probably spent more money on people's salaries in those meetings than what the price of a license for AG Grid Enterprise is. So in summary, including AG Grid Enterprise into your application will completely raise the usefulness of your application to your users. They'll be far happier using your app with AG Grid Enterprise in it. Investing in AG Grid Enterprise is an investment in your product and it will pay off. Thank you.